if you're going to use an unbound distribution like the normal distribution, you have to be aware that sometimes your values in the tails can be unrealistic. For example, the birth weight of mice can't be less than zero. And here we're looking at an example here in this chart where we have some birth weights that are less than zero uh, represented by the blue dots. And you also see that here in the descriptive statistics. We really want to range our birth weights between zero and two grams. But here we're seeing it goes from minus 0.37 to 2.43. Excel has no function for truncating a normal distribution. There are plugins that you can download that will do this for you, such as NTRAND. But I've chosen to use some code that I picked up from Mike Middleton. And here's a link to his blog. The formula that you use is equal norm m, and then you use the underlined portion that uh, I show here. There are lots of other examples of where you might want to truncate a normal distribution, where you have the negative price of goods, or negative age, weight, height, or negative time. Let's take a look at the Excel workbook now. Let's go back to the example of the birth weight of mice. Let's take a look at the inputs. They had a minimum weight of zero, a maximum weight of two grams, and an average of one gram. So I've input this into our uh, normal distribution here in our data table. I've calculated out some z-scores. And here's where I implement the truncated normal distribution. And here's where I do the truncated dist, which is basically the same as, as you usually do, except you're working it on the truncated normal in function. And here is the resulting plot. And you can see that the, the blue dots, which represent the untruncated distribution, extends below 0 and above 2. But the red line represents the truncated and it stays within the bounds, as also demonstrated here in the descriptive statistics.